Hi, my name's Rudy, and welcome back to the channel. So, um, another couple of TS, uh, Nation videos I've seen in the last couple of days. Um, so, I'm going to keep the, the hype going and do another one myself. A um, couple of questions from Nolsey I saw, and uh, Soundwave SG1s or Rider. Um, Bisto Yeti did one. Um, so, I just thought I would literally combine all the questions together um, with like some questions of my own and fire them off. So, question one. Uh, is there anything new on your shopping list or wish list that you uh, want to get or desperate to get? With um, TFCon happening uh, a few weeks ago, uh, there was the exclusive Mac Toys Maestro, the G2 inspired repaint of their downbeat figure, the masterpiece style jazz. That has now gone number one on my list. I have no G1 figures at all in my collection um, and I absolutely love the look of it. I'd like to get a downbeat anyway and having talking, talking, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a word, talking, having spoken to people in um, the fan community, it's, the downbeat figure is um, incredible. Um, and I just I absolutely love the packaging um, and the way the, the figure looks. So he has jumped to the top of my wish list. Um, whether it's going to be there is uh, literally another another question. I'd like to hope so, but if it's not, it's it's no big deal. It's um, there's plenty of other things on my wish list that um, I can get, and I'm not going to be too beat up if it's if it's not there. So. Worst figure uh, you own? Um, where is it? Here we go. In my Transformers Q and A, th th I had a similar question to this, and I went on about G1 Galvatron. Uh, upon second review and slowly dusting through my um, collection, I want to say this: Masterpiece Tracks. I think it's an absolute dire figure. Um, it's flimsy. It's it's gappy. It's the, I think the proportions are wrong. Um, if you compare it to his G1 counterpart, I just I just I just no one we which one is more appealing to me and this is more sturdy and in some ways like better engineering um, and I just think this this is a real letdown in the Masterpiece line you know it's the Masterpiece line is for adult collectors and you look at the you look at Smokescreen, Prowl and um, Blue Streak um, and the Blue Blue Streak and Silver Streak I know the mold's been used five times, but it's a sturdy figure and it looks incredible. Like my favourite out of the line is Smokescreen. I just think he he looks fantastic and Transformers fantastic. Um, but this is this is the worst. So I take back my my previous statement of G1 um, Galvatron. That's and it is replaced with this. I was going to say it's, it's still pretty up there. It, you know it's. It's still one of the worst figures that you can go from, but this this takes the top spot. So, question three: uh, What was the first figure you bought at Auto Assembly or TF Nation? Um, first one I got, and is my favourite combiner of all time. Um, is the collectors? Was it the thirtieth or the, the the clear? Boxed um, collection of the Seacons, the Piranicon, or God Neptune. Um, that's the first thing I purchased. Um, I think I got it for 35? 35 or for like 38. I think I feel like I bartered as well. I think it was it was down for like 40. And um, like I said, oh, I hope about 35. It's, you know, it's the second day I'll. Um, I'll take one off your hands for 35 and he goes like nah. Um, so I ended up, I think we got to 38. Um, 
I feel like he's had quite a few, quite a few left. I don't even remember what store it was from. Um, but he, I think he's great. I had Overbite as a as a kid. Um, it's a bit sad that it's it's not the same colours um, as the original '87 release. Um, but yeah, that was that was my my first figure of a at a convention. Uh, who would you like to see? Oh, question four. Sorry, I don't know if I've been numbering these questions. Um, question four: Who would you like to see as in a writer that has worked on a Transformers show? Um, I'd like to see Flint Dilly. Um, I've watched a couple of documentaries um, with Flint, Flint Dilly, and he wrote a hell of a lot of um, episodes, and he wrote for, for me some of the best season three episodes. Um, I'd love to to see him. He'd obviously have a wealth to talk about, and obviously some interesting um, things to say about writing. And he also wrote um, some other bits for for those. I feel like he wrote some visionaries, and he might have written some GI Joe. So yeah, I'd love to see see uh, Blue Dilly uh, a convention. So. What is the rarest? I've done it again. <laughs> right, pay attention. Question five. Uh, what is the rarest Transformer you own? So, it's not a specific Hasbro Takara, but I think it's pretty rare. Um, we have a Cherry Coke can. Um, it has been a while since this has been ring pulled, but it's got like a mechanism. There we go. A mechanism. I think I feel like it has some rocket boosters at the back here, but um, I'm a bit scared to to have a go. But this, I feel like this is one of the rarest things I have, um, and it's it's awesome. It's like I, I love cherry coke anyway. Um, I love cherry coke um, all all of my all of my life, um, and to have something that transforms, double bonus to have it in its 1980s. Um, product livery, another great thing. So I, I'd say that's the one of the rarest um, bits I have. In terms of Transformers, I don't know if I really have anything super rare because um, they're all really, really expensive. <laughs> if you want a rare figure, it's uh, it's going to cost you serious cash. So um, sadly, I don't, I don't have anything too too rare. But um, I have plenty of oddities. But I don't know how rare those things are. I, don't get me wrong, I'd love to have some rarities. But sadly not in the collection yet. Um, question six. Uh, what is your holy grail? Um, I guess uh, there's a there's a couple in there. Maybe I'll do um, some holy grail on honourable mentions. Um, I'd like a Metro Titan. The um, repaint of uh, Metroplex. Um, I'd love to get um, Diatlas um, and the two supporting characters. Is it Sonic Bar Bomber and Road Cross? Oh, well, once again, I'm probably getting the names wrong. Um, so yeah, I'd love to because they the three of them combine into like a quad former and transforms into like four different four different. Um, Things is it cross road cross? I'm thinking that it might be that one. Um, so I haven't watched his own for a while, um, and I, I think I, I talked about it in one of the previous videos because that, that's why I'd love a panel on it just to to get that more information and um, whatnot. Um, so yeah, but uh, I think the number one is um, for me. I would like the. Um, because Piranicon, um, God Neptune, is my favourite uh, combiner, I'd love to get the 2008 uh, Transformers Collectors Club um, Piranicon set. Because um, the, the colourway with the purples, the oranges, and the, the the yellow, and the cool like Japanese looking box, I thought it looked like incredibly um, cool and nostalgic. 
um, whilst looking quite fresh and invigorated, kind of ticks a lot of lot of boxes for me. Um, and with having a dare I say it, a cheaper version um, of that, it's, you know that that could be something that could stay in the box and only come out once in a while. Um, as sometimes I like to get figures out of the the plastic prisons. Um, uh, and then, but sometimes I like to keep them in the box because because the the box is so good. Um, so yeah, maybe that's that's my holy grail. I've got a couple in there just to to answer that question. Um, question seven: What are you getting signed? Um, I've seen that you know you take I've, I've got the Transformers vault book, um, and it's it's cool to kind of get that sign every time you go, get more and more signatures. Um, I'm kind of just not a too fussed about um, having things signed. I um, I dug out some old Ladybird books um, to get get those signed by Mike Hollins. Um, but I'm, once again, I'm not I'm, I'm not too fussed about getting those ones signed. Um, I'm getting the Time Terror booklet, um, and I'd probably just get that signed because it's it's part of a moment. Um, and I'd like to experience that moment there and then. Um, I don't know if I could um, expel too much time queuing in a long queue to get, you know, a, a stamped CD or a, a vinyl to do it. Um, incredible patience to you guys that are going to do it. Um, and, and good on you, and I'm like, oh, I'll be like super jealous when I see them in the bar, just like, oh, you didn't get me signed, that's really cool, what did he, what did he talk to you about? Um, but just because I've not been to a convention for a while, I'm just, I want to use my time kind of correctly, so. Um, I'm just not too too fussed about getting uh, anything signed. Um, and then question eight. Uh, what do you look forward to the most at TF Nation? Um, I think this year, um, the secret, come on, the secret, um, the surprise hit of the convention is, I think it might be the Friday with the fan panels. Um, I think they're going to slightly steal the show for some people. Because um, in some ways we've kind of, um, you've seen dealer rooms before, or you, you, you've been in, to other conventions and kind of you know what to kind of expect with that um, you know and some people have, have been to a concert before and you guys have kind of you've played games in the bar and you've transformed other people's toys and, you, and a lot of you are going there to meet like kind of other new friends um, and then for newbies um, that have never done a convention before um, I think the whole experience is going to be like Super cool, but I possibly think that the, the Friday, the, the fan panels, is it, it's going to steal the steal the show. Um, just being able to watch some of the people that are YouTubers, they're they're, they're going to be doing some panels, and then there's just going to be some cool um, bits that people are going to talk on the panel. Something where they're, they're passionate about it, and you can see it in the in the way that they deliver it, and the way that they talk about it, and they're hopefully like receptive to like questions coming in from crowd and everybody getting involved and supporting and listening to the points that these kind of like people bring out there I just I think uh, that that's in some ways that's the, one of the the day the three days that I'm, I'm most looking forward to is the, is the Friday um, so yeah these are just a random mix of questions from various youtubers out there um, yeah 50, 15 days to go um, yeah as you can see, I'm happy to keep making these videos about it. Um, and if more questions come along, just I'll try and answer them. Um, and yeah, look, looking forward to meeting up with people there. Um, come, come find me. Come chat with me. Um, if we've got time, or well, we could do like a collab video for anybody that's interested. I'm, I'm well up for up for that if we've got time. <laughs> um, so yeah, as always, take care. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.